spirits with you. Um, on a day when I'm cooking on the barbecue, so you know how it is, barbecue's cooking. And today from Durham Brewery, my first ever beer from Durham Brewery. And uh, yeah, I, know, I do apologise for the crap writing. Mm -hmm. Although, to be fair, the writing's great because uh, the good fellow at Alter Ego Brewing's micro pub in Losco in Derbyshire, uh, Nottinghamshire border. Good evening, Benjamin. And he actually wrote on the bottle for me. So it's half a pint or thereabouts, 4.3% Durham Brewery. And uh, yeah, so I'm on the barbecue, as you can tell by the, the angle of the camera. And I'm doing a bit of barbie work. So I'll just turn the stuff over. Hope everyone's had a good day. Albeit warm, it's so bloody warm, isn't it? Good evening, Mr. Bolton. Depending on where you are in the UK, it is warm. I mean, oh dear, oh dear. There's warm and then there's too warm. And this is too warm. Let me just make sure I've got the right chat thing on. I did try to do it on my Chromebook, but for some reason, the Chromebook was having issues. So, um, so I'm doing two reviews, one back-to-back -back reviews. I've already, I've already done some half-pint reviews today. So I've been out to the local, one of the local tip, um, macro pubs. 12 degrees in drizzle. Do you know, this side of the country, we'd probably, we'd probably prefer 12 degrees than 30. Because 30, you know, you can't get to sleep when it's 30. I mean, we have got air con. Cheers. Yeah, it's uh, been out today. We, had, we went out to the pub. Um, you know, I do like to support the local breweries. So it's, it's nice to get out there. And uh, right, once I've turned these over, I get back to the beer. So Durham Brewery, I'm sure somebody on the beer review community group was actually posting from Durham Brewery. Unless my, unless my mind, unless, unless it was another brewery. But So yeah, Cashmere Blank. Blanc. It's an IPA, 4.3%. Yeah. Good evening, Aaron. Do you know, we used to sell that in Sainsbury's back in 2015. When I went, no, sorry, no. 2012. When I went to Sainsbury's in Arnold, which is a couple of miles, well, about half a mile from me, um, we sold that then. And then it lasted about, um, oh, about a year and it disappeared but it is it's, it is not easy to get hold of i do know of the lager but it, again it's not easy to get hold of so there we go to say this is not poured seven and a half hours ago nice bit of bit of noise when you open the top up pour this one out so nice half a pint good evening steve how are you wow that's a good half a pint Jeez, and that was a bit of a bonus. Well, I'm sure today's glasses aren't pint glasses. I reckon these are 500 mil glasses. Hence why you put you pour something that's half a pint and it always looks more. Good evening, Andy. Window. I'm sure that's a German. Is it German lager? It is hot, Chris. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's hot. It's ridiculously hot. 31 degrees in Surrey, ouch. Nottingham, it's 30 degrees. And I'll tell you what, I've um, been in the hot tub for the best part of an hour. And uh, thank God we got the hot tub working again. That's all I can say. It's uh, it's nice to be, uh, to have the hot tub working again. So, I am barbecuing at the same time. So I do apologize for the, uh, any interruptions. I've got chicken and burgers on the barbecue. A raspberry sour from Pahala. They do make some nice um, stouts. They do. So, yeah, we're in for this weather all week. It's going to be a tough old week. And I will get round to reviewing the actual beer in a minute when I move things around. Very awkward doing a barbecue and reviewing at the same time. It's uh... yeah, so I'm not doing steak tonight. Portsmouth is 31. Ouch. It is, you know, 
It's funny how the British moan. We moan because it, when it's too cold, and we moan when it's too hot, but that's just isn't it. So, yeah. There's what I'm cooking. All at the start of cooking. I'm going to be out here a good hour, so I thought, well, why not go live? Because I'm studying like a numpty anyway, so I might as well talk while I'm studying. And uh, that's better. Hopefully it won't fall off. But uh, these things happen. Put the lid down. And, uh, yeah, so doing brewery. Golden port, it is. It is too hot, yeah. I've got work tomorrow, and I've got a week where... I've got a ride on mower that's broke. Good evening. Do you know, I've not been down the shed at the beer room because it's been too hot. I walked in there earlier and it's like 33 degrees in there. I've opened the doors, left the doors open and I walked back out. I've not been in there. I just, I just couldn't be done with the heat in there. Uh, I presume it's probably fermented by now. In this heat, it would have fermented. I, I presume so. Yeah, a bit of wind. The, this heat with wind, you're not worried. Yeah, it's the second time today we've had the barbecue one. So sausages and chicken earlier, and now it's um, burgers and chicken. So, and then tomorrow it'll be steak. But uh, yeah, if the weather keeps on, obviously. So yeah, I've got a ride on mower at work that's broke, and it's like, oh, for God's sake, it's the worst week for the ride on mower to broke. Thankfully, I'm off the cold. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Two barbecues, so it was a good one. Although, I'm the lucky person who stands next to the barbecue cooking. Good evening, Craig. And uh, I don't know if you watched my beer haul earlier, but I picked up two beers for us to review in August when you come up. If you watch the beer review, you'll notice which beers they are. Oh, got to do a fence tomorrow. I've got edge trimming to do and mowing and uh, I'm going to try and do the edge trimming and mowing as quick as I can. Good evening. Try and do the edge, 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 edge trimming and, and the mowing as quick as I can just to make life easier and uh, to try and get in the shade and uh, I'm going to be very wary of jobs in the shade tomorrow. It's not so bad when you're in the shade. <laughs> It does, that's the only problem, this time of the year, it does kill you. So, Durham Brewery, Cashmere Blanc, six in the morning, now I'm only just get up at six. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be up at, I'm, I'm working from seven, so seven in the morning. Um, hopefully get the, get the graft done before about 11 o'clock and then try and stay in the shade as best possible, you know. You have to work clever. It's all about working clever. This is why I did five years in Sainsbury's because in the aircon, it's amazing. You know, the temperature's controlled. Some days you're sweating your head off, but most days it's pretty decent temperature, depending on what department you want. So, Cashmere Blanc IPA, 4.3%, Durham Brewery. First ever beer from them. Got it from um, a local micro pub. Don't know yet, I tried it. <laughs> Eight minutes in, not to try the beer yet. On the nose. Definite citrus elements on the nose straight away. Oh. And to say this was poured seven out, well, yeah, seven and a half hours ago. Because we got there at 12 o'clock, me and the wife did. And uh, got there for the first, we were the first ones in. Yeah, yeah. It's what I've done all day, to be fair. I've got half a pint. I mean, that, that's probably a little bit more than half a pint. I don't think that's a full pint glass, to be fair. I think it's 500 mil. You know, because of Europe and these these litres and 500 mils. Um, but still, it's slightly more than 500 mil at half a pint. But um, lovely tasting. And to say seven and a half hours ago, pretty decent, really. Just have to move this stuff over again. Barbecue duties. Yeah. I mean, let's be fair. This time of the year, you want the stuff that's um, a little bit less on the ABV. Any waggy rhyme reviews? Oh, shit. Um, I'm fucking burning that bastard. Um, maybe soon. Maybe. 
to be fair, I think I've only got one bottle of red wine in. Although, uh, the person I work with at work, the head chef, she's gave me some dandelion wine. It's not a strong ABV, but it's made from dandelion. Smells not so good. Tastes absolutely amazing. I had a sip at work and uh, it tasted lovely. I've not reviewed it yet, it's sat in the kitchen. But, um, all good fun cooking on the barbecue, do apologise. That's it, back to the red or white. This time of the year, white, definitely. Definitely white this time of the year. Elderflower, Elderflower champagne is usually quick to review. Good evening, Thomas, and happy birthday for today. Unless I've got the wrong Thomas, and if I have, then I do apologise. But yeah, it is your birthday today, isn't it? Please tell me it is, because if, if I'm in it, you know, I do apologise. A lemon and ginger tea bag wine. That's different. That is different. Yeah, we're getting a bit of smoke now. Yeah. It'll be on fire in a minute. Yeah. It's your birthday today. I thought it was. Yeah. Any birthday beers over in um, in Ireland? Yes, Jay, Matt. You're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of tea bag in it. No, I'm not fond of tea bag in there. No, no, no. Thankfully, I've never had to endure that or, or done that. You know, there's there's limits in life. Oh, my young, younger son's on camera now. Go away. Yes. Is Nottingham near me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Nottingham. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in Sherwood. Sherwood's part of Nottingham. I'm on the border of Nottingham, although crazy these borders are. So we're on the north edge of Nottingham, basically before you get to Gedling, uh, the Gedling Borough area. But yeah, very much, very much Nottingham, yeah. Uh, Nottingham City Centre, two and a half miles that way, yeah. Where you find all the idiots, to be fair, but yeah. All them people that like to stab each other and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, you know, you try and keep away from that, don't you? So, lovely, lovely citrusy pour on this. Although I'm getting bit of steak in with the pour so it's it's make, not making it easy and i'll lift the lid up so i can see what's going on nottingham lathwaite based in west bridgeford or lady bay area i'm sure it's lady bay lathwaite there's a couple of posh wine shops in nottingham there's weavers I'm sure they're based on uh, Maid Marion Way in Nottingham. Lathwaite's, I'm sure that's West Bridgeford. Good evening. It's been a few days. Um, I'm cooking on the barbecue, which is why I am. I'm stood outside here. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, we have Lathwaite's, if that's how you pronounce Lathwaite's. Uh, we have uh, Weaver's Wines. And we also have, um, oh, God, what's the other one called? The one that was near us, what was it called? The one that closed down? Five No, the wine shop. Next to Aldi, it's not a wine shop anymore. Majestic. Majestic, yeah, Majestic. We had a Majestic as well, that's closed down. We have got another one in the posh area of the city. Yeah. I don't think it was posh enough around here, you know. But if the wines are expensive, you know, you only, you only go into a certain clientele. Plus, there's a Sainz, there was a Sainsbury's round the corner from it, so you're struggling. So, yeah, I picked up some five draft beers today. Even the Mrs. Raggy, yeah, you can hear in the background, can't you? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she's, she's chilling. It's been a really hot day. Victoria Wines, yeah, yeah, there used to be Victoria Wines, didn't there? Yeah. I think the problem is with a lot of businesses these days, a lot go bust because... You know, you've got to modernise, haven't you? You know, you've got to look at the, the likes of what... Uh, good evening. Uh, steak burgers. 
chicken and chicken chicken for the for the son who likes just chicken you know he's he has autism so he, he his his diet consists of chicken chicken and more bloody chicken and although he is partial to a decent steak yeah so i'm eating this big thick steak it goes ribeye 13 quid steak from sainsbury's we got it reduced down to like three quid uh being type leaders when i work there and he says can i have a bit of that and i'm like oh, oh go on then so i cuts him a little bit off and he's like can i have a bit more and i'm like oh, fucking hell. and he ain't eating half the steak well yeah yeah i know what you're saying Abby's going to need his plate in a minute, mate. Yeah. His burgers are way away. Yeah. His chicken's nearly cooked, though. Yeah. But Abby, Abby's stuff needs them. I'll put the chat back on because I've just missed that comment. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy, is it? You know, these deals sometimes. So, Durham Brewery. It's a nice looking pour, 4.3%. Very easy drinking. And obviously, got work tomorrow, so I don't want to overdo it too much on the um, strength side of things. Red cards and all that sort of thing. <laughs> I picked up two beers for the good, for the good fellow um, Craig. Kent Beer Reviews to review with me when he comes up to Nottingham. And uh, he's going to be steaming, laddies. So we've got a 15%er, an 11%er, and uh, another 12%er. So it's going to be a good one. No, no, I'm having another wheat beer. Well, about a 4.5%er. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not um, not overdoing it. No. no. Got work in the morning, driving. It's not worth the, it's not worth the, you know, the risk. Plus, I'm only drinking, well, supposedly half a pint. You know, these, these things. Uh, it's nice to be back on the lives, though. You know, it's nice to chat with people. Those that are about, obviously, because... And I tell you what, it's going to be scary going forward, because it's like today, one of my... My beer's coming out tomorrow, supposedly. The Raggy's Golden Ale. But there's, a, there's, a, there's an issue. Uh, um, Lincoln Green Brewery, they're, they're, they're very decent halves, yeah, fair play to the bloke who poured out. I look, I, do you know, asking for halves is the best thing, because I reckon I'm, I'm always getting more than half, so jobs are good, and, yeah, can't fault that. But yeah, um, Lincoln Green Brewery, the people doing the Raggy's Golden Ale, they, for their five puts, uh, are offline. Because they've been pinged by the NHS app. No, no one's got COVID, but they've been pinged. So they have to self-isolate. And that's devastating, isn't it? And, you know, tomorrow, obviously, is when the restrictions end. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's always good when you win, isn't it? Winning's, winning's the key. <laughs> I went to a, I went to a micro pub the other week and I asked for um, half of Verdant. It was their Imperial Stout. So it's not a cheap Imperial Stout, don't get me wrong, you know. I said, oh, can I have half of each? And he did, he, he poured me out. I poured it into, into a pint glass, a supposed pint glass. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's pint or 500 mils, but it uh, doesn't say it on it. And it, it nearly filled the glass up to there, and I'm like, bonus, absolute bonus, 9%. And I paid half for it, and it's nearly a pint. Which is good. So, who's the who's? Harry wants two cups. Chicken in the cup. Right. And one on its own. Barbecue duties, second. And there's a cheeseburger, man, going to serve my service. Right, so, Harry. All right, right there is. You can have them two now. He's got another piece coming. Yeah, burgers are, are well away yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Durham Brewery. <sighs> Citrusy pour, four point three percent. Not too taxing. I've just been on their website before I came on, but because the Chromebook's gone down on me, I can't show you their beers. Good selection of beers on their website, though. Like what I can say. And uh, the wife just come on camera for a slight second there. <laughs> oh, 
Thank God we've got the hot tub working. For everyone out there who hasn't got a hot tub, get yourself a bloody hot tub. Do you know, in this weather, set the hot tub to about 35 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's warmer than what you'd expect. But I tell you, you dive in that and it's so refreshing. And it just chills you out because this weather, oh dear. I, feel, I do feel sorry for anybody who's, who's stuck in a house with no air conditioning, you know, stuffy rooms. And some rooms where you can't even open a window. I mean, bloody hell, how do you survive? You know, every every single window in our house upstairs is open. And uh, there we go. Yeah, every single window's open. And it, um, it, you need it. I mean, we've, we've, we're lucky. We, we actually paid for air conditioning downstairs in our house. And if it came to it, we'd all sleep downstairs. Because put the air con on, sleep downstairs. Job's good and... <laughs> Hot to review. No, I don't think so. <laughs> with a forest, with my shirt on. Yeah. Not sure my boobies off. Not that I've got any in, obviously. But anyway, yeah. nice citrus um, edge to this. Easy going, very drinkable. Cashmere Blanc is the name. Cashmere Blanc. Um, I mean, Blanc is white. So it's. Strange name, but um, obviously, you know, you choose your names what year you get. Um, really easy drinking. Let me just check this because I don't, I don't want the, the turn the bar, turn the bar, bar, uh, turn the burgers over rather. All cooking very nicely, slowly but nicely. And it's surprising, even with the expensive burgers, the amount of fat that drops off the burgers. Like Jamie's chicken is nearly ready as well. Okay. It's a gas barbecue. Yeah, much easier. Yeah, I always cook slow on the barbecue to make it, you know, cook slow, cook properly. But not to make it too chewy. If I'm doing it, if I'm doing a steak, I know some people say, "Yeah, cook it full blast." But I don't want a steak where there's where there's so much blood it's dripping down my t-shirt. I'd rather cook it and get a nice mac medium for me medium. My wife she likes it well done, so she'll. she'll I think gas is easier. You know, it's it's so easier than than charcoal. It is. Right there we go. Older son doesn't want to be on camera. Bless him. So, I'm going to finish this review. Come back with another review. And uh, last review, obviously. That's it. Yeah. Cashmere Blanc. Durham Brewery. Cheers, guys. Durham Brewery. Um, first ever beer from you. And a very easy drinking. Got it from the tip in at Losco in Derbyshire. Alter Ego Brewing's. Basically, it's their tap room. Micro brewery, micro, they're a nano brewery and it's their tap room, basically. Score. Well. It's an IPA. Very much a subtle, subtle citrus on it. Easy drinking. Perfect for this weather. Perfect. And like you say, 4.1%. 4.1 out of 5. I think that's a fair score, to be fair. Yeah. It's it's not too heavy on the ABV, which is a good thing, because, you know, it doesn't need to be heavy. At the moment, it's just about getting refreshed, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. Right. Got to run. Back in about five minutes or so with another beer review. Thank you all for participating. See you soon. And have a great night for those who don't come back. Cheers, everyone. And uh, see you soon. Let's if I ever work out how to turn the turn it off, you know. Phones, issues.